Alright, now I'm glad you clicked in. On today's installment of Check This with Mr. Batch, we're going to tackle that question. The toughest division in the NFL. Mike check, Mike check. I'm glad you clicked in so I can check in with you, Mr. Batch here, and you there on the other side of the screen. What we're going to kick it about today is the NFL's toughest division. If you had watched the opening sequence, you've seen five of the last five Super Bowl winners, and the AFC has been dominant with four wins to one to the NFC. You could just about say that the AFC is the most dominant conference, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the toughest division in the NFL. This is a revision to a previous incarnation of this video that I had presented before. Hey, just like in your local newspaper, you'll have uh, errors and omissions and some sort of corrections. And I'm going to make a correction to this video before. Um, Got to be on my toes because you guys are on your toes. Uh, there were two teams in questions uh, with the totals of their wins for the last five years that I had shortchanged. The first one being the Buffalo Bills and the second one being the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's a wonder I didn't get any emails or any kind of messages or comments concerning uh, that slight oversight concerning the, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers. But let's jump right into it. The NFL's toughest division. I'm partial to the NFL East due to the fact that I'm here in the Northeast section. And it's been many years of uh, great rivalry and intensity in the NFC East. Especially when it comes to the opponents against the Giants. So let's rock and roll, y'all. And uh, let's get down with the get down here. What we've got is that let's go with the AFC because I had opened up talking about the last several Super Bowl champions. And as you know, wins and rings. No, not chicken wins. <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> oh, a little humor there, folks. No, I'm not talking about that. Defense wins championships and offense wins games. So let's get down with the get down, right? Let's start with the AFC, like I said. Okay, the AFC South has a total of 179 wins over the last five years. That uh, division is led by the Indianapolis Colts with 63 wins. And then you've got the Jags with 45, the Titans with 40, and the Texans with 31. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this is a five-year window now that I'm doing here for all of these uh, divisions here. So uh, keep it coming, y'all. Keep it coming. So that's, like I said, 179 wins for AFC South, led by the Indianapolis Colts, who have won a Super Bowl in this five-year run. Uh, followed with them with the most wins in the AFC Conference is the AFC East with 166. The New England Patriots lead with 63 wins over the last five years. Wow. They are tied with the uh, New England uh, New England Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts are tied with the same amount over the last five years. And the New England Patriots have one Super Bowl win within that last five years here. Now, inside the AFC East, and the Pats lead with 63 wins, followed by the Jets with 37, Bills with 35, Dolphins with 31. And that's 166 total in the AFC East, dominated by the Patriots. Now, next to follow that up is AFC North with 160 wins total. And... That is led by the Pittsburgh Steelers with a total of 50 wins. But inside of those 50 wins over the last five years, they have two Super Bowl wins. Now, followed behind the Steelers in this division, you have the Bengals with 38, uh, the Ravens with 44, the Browns with 28. Now, wow, you're saying, hey, 50 wins total, two rings, not as many wins as the Colts and the um, Patriots, but they got two rings. Hmm. But they're not even in wins amongst each other inside the AFC North. The AFC North has 160 total wins. Now, let's move on to the last one in this uh, AFC conference, and we have the AFC West with 153 wins. They're led by the Chargers with 54, followed by the Broncos with 47, 
the Chiefs with 32, and the Raiders with 20. Now, um, the Chargers have had their chances to go uh, to the big dance, but they haven't been um, fortunate enough to get there. But they have all the tools. But th- look who ha- look who's in their conference. You've got the Pats, the Steelers, and the Colts. Four rings with those with those three clubs right there. So the Chargers have had a tough road to hold. Let's move over to the national football conference here now the uh, division with the most wins total over the last five years is the nfc east uh that's led by the giants with 48 wins and of course they have that super bowl ring all right now with 48 wins and a ring they lead the nfc east now they're followed by eagles 46 cowboys 46 then the Redskins, 38, which gives you a total of 178, which is, um, that leads the pack in the NFC. Remember, that leads the pack in the NFC. That's the NFC East, all right? And the Giants have one ring. Look how close it is over there over the last five years. Eagles, 46 wins. Cowboys, 46 wins. Redskins, 38 wins. And the Giants have 48 wins. It's pretty tight pretty tight in there over the last five years as far as the wins go but the nfc east leads the nfc in total wins over the last five years let's keep moving right along the nfc south 159 wins and that is led by the panthers with 45 wins uh followed by the falcons with 40 wins uh, the Bucks with 38 and the Saints with 36 wins. And that comes to 159 total wins there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what's going on inside that uh, NFC South division. All right. Then after that, you have the NFC North with 148 wins total over the last five years. They are led by the Bears with 45 wins, who did have a... Um, and appearance in the Super Bowl within the last five years here uh, under their belt. Then you've got the Vikings with 41, the Packers with 41, and the Lions with 21. Now, you know uh, the NFC North was going to be kind of dragged down because the Lions aren't holding up to their end of the bargain and producing some wins. But that's about to change with that coming on, but that's another story altogether. Getting back to the NFC North with 148 wins led by the Bears. Uh, you tell me how tough you think that division is. All right. And now we've got the, uh, okay, coming after that, NFC, the NFC North, we've got the NFC West with 130 total wins over the last five years. And they are led by the Seattle Seahawks with 45. The Cardinals come in with 33. But they were the last, um, Super Bowl participant in Super Bowl 43 against the Steelers. Then you have the four. No, you have the Rams with 27 and the 49ers with 25. Once again, the NFC West has 130 total wins over the last five years. Hawks 45, Rams 27, Cards 33, 49ers 25. Hmm. You guys tell me now. With the wins comes the rings. Because defense wins you championships and offense wins you games. But you got to win to get into those games. I'm partial to the NFC East because it's always a knockdown, drag out, you know, uh, fight to the finish, to the death, almost gladiator style. And you tell me what you think about your other divisions. Um, this is Mr. Batch. <laughs>